Hi everybody. So I wanted to make a quick video tutorial showing how to get a USB virtual serial port running on a SAMD21 microcontroller. Um, I've seen a lot of video tutorials about how to do a virtual serial port that utilizes the uh, the existing virtual serial port on the SAMD21 Explained Pro through the eDebug chip, which is through the debug USB port. But looking at a real world scenario, you're not going to have that debug USB port, uh, and there's a little bit more uh, effort required in making a virtual serial port over just the regular target USB. So I have a SAMD21 Explained Pro board with me here. And I'm just going to go over the steps on how to get a virtual serial port up and running. Uh, so first, go to Atmel Start and click Create New Project. Here we're going to uh, choose the microcontroller that we're using, which is the SAMD21J18A. Uh, it really doesn't matter if we choose the actual board. We don't need the actual board definition here. So just choose the SAMD21J18A, create new project. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to configure our clocks. Uh, we're not going to be using the 8 megahertz internal oscillator. Uh, set the clock generator 1 to use the ultra low power internal oscillator, the 32 kilohertz oscillator. Then set the digital frequency logged loop to have its reference clock source as clock generator 1. Set it to be in closed loop mode and set the DFLL multiply factor to 1465. Then set the clock generator 0 source to be the digital frequency logged loop. Now we have the CPU running at 48 megahertz. Let's add the USB uh, stack. So go to middleware and then uh, expand USB stack and then go to USB device CDC ACM. Let's click add component. Now we have the USB also clocked at 48 megahertz. Let's go back to the dashboard. Now, for the SAMD21, we need to click on PM here and then go down and set the NVM weight states to be 1. And then after that, just go over to USB device instance, make sure that data plus is PA25, data minus is PA24. And we'll go ahead and just rename our project here, SAMD21J18A. Atmel Software Framework 4 USB Serial is what I'm going to call it. Let's go ahead and export the project. So we got this uh, file that's been downloaded. If we click on that, it will load this project into Atmel Studio or Microchip Studio. And go ahead and just rename it to whatever you want to name it. Choose whatever folder you want to store your project in. Click OK. All right, and it creates our project in Atmel Studio. Now, there's a little bit of example code that's created for you. I'm not going to lie, it's not great, but it does at least get the example running. Uh, so if you go to usbstart.c, uh, which should be created for you, there's a function called cdcd acm examples. This is an example program that you can run. So if you go to your main function, uh, just replace that infinite while loop with a call to cdcd acm example. And go ahead and save that. And what the example program does is it just 
echoes whatever input you send to the serial port, it echoes it back out. Uh, we won't go over the, the code uh, in detail, um, but essentially there are, uh, what it does is it registers a callback here, um, which then subsequently registers a couple more callbacks. But as you can see, there are some built-in functions to do basic reading and writing. Uh, so here's the ACM read, then there's an ACM write function. And so it just does some basic echoing of uh, whatever serial input you give. All right, so let's go ahead and go to your project properties before we build this and make sure, just make sure that the uh, tool is set for whatever tool you're using to program your chip. Uh, since I'm using the SAMD21 explained board, uh, it programs it through the eDebug chip. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And now we'll go ahead and run it. It's building. Still building. Here we go. All right, programming the chip. Okay, so now if we open up the data visualizer tool in Atmel Studio, let's see here. There we go. Uh, so I have two COM ports showing up because since I have the SAMD21 explained board, uh, there's the virtual COM port that's been created by the eDebug chip. But that's not the COM port that we just created. That one was already existing. We just created this one here. Uh, so COM17, and we can go ahead and connect to that COM port. Uh, that's through the target USB port on the SAMD21 explained board. And whatever serial input we provide, it echoes back out to us. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, that's a pretty simple virtual serial port working on the SAMD21 uh, microcontroller. Um, there is a little bit more to go over in terms of how to get really usable um, reading and writing functions uh, actually working rather than just doing a simple echo of whatever input it receives. Uh, but hopefully this is a good quick tutorial on how to get a really basic uh, USB virtual serial port up and running on your SAMD21.